Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Havoc OS final update for our Redmi Note 5 Pro. So yeah, this is the final update, like no more security patches update or no more source update to the Oreo will be given here. Now the next build will be by. So without wasting more time, let's start with the review. So guys, Havoc OS is another lineage OS based ROM with like most features ever we have seen in the ROM. See in the about phone, we can see uh, have a OS 25.9 variant final then we have the standard version 8.1.0 and with the 5 September security patch now maybe they should be giving an uh, October but no no October patch this is their final update to the bills have this developer options enabled as you can see it's Oreo and you can see we have this spy uh, quick settings and all by default uh, I'm using this uh, uh, launcher but it's having the ruthless launcher so let's change it uh, okay let's change it here so I forgot to change it before making the video and to be clear I was using this uh, advanced default apps okay so yeah ruthless launcher again so uh, this is the ruthless launcher as you can see it's like same but has some less features so this has some of those features like feature flags themes and icons drawer desktop talk at a glance net notification and gestures so we have a lot of things here and yeah it's the best launcher for havoc because havoc has the like most features of any rom so yeah the launcher should be also featured so guys as this rom is based on lineage os we get all of the lineage os apps and no extra addition no extra stuff we have this havoc settings which has like 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 there are a lot of lot of features here inside now all of the main features you have already seen in all of the roms but there are some features which may differ from here we have this fingerprint stuff uh where we have those gestures like uh no no gestures we have the fingerprint log and all of the fingerprint stuff and we have this gestures we can see all of the gestures happen in screen on gestures the app circle bar gesture anywhere by age gestures everything now we also have the screen stabilization now if you're running here as you can see the screen is getting stabilized it's not getting shaky like if you're running like if you already use this feature if you already used like you can see the screen shakes in here like the screen uh, it depends on how you shake and how you're running so yeah this is a really great feature as you can see you can even read while and as you can see now i shake you cannot see a word at least so this is good we also have the smart pixels down here but it's only for the amoled devices not for our device we have this some um, missionary stuff system options we have a lot of stuff here into the interface and all but yeah you just like just go and install this and you will get all of these features we have this new event service so yeah i don't want it we have this animations a lot of them are available now you have to check everything in here because i can't explain everything here because there are a lot actually into about we can see we get have a quest team and here we have the device and maintainers so let's go to xiaomi uh, redmi note 5 and uh, yeah here's the maintainer it's me uh, okay gets let's get back yeah these were all of the features present in the there's one feature which i missed to tell you like you guys would like it is this android p quick tiles to android o or like you can switch it going into havoc settings we have this in interface like after a lot of people told him that lead dev do not include so maybe a system uh, like system ui restart is required and now you will see uh, oreo not clean oreo tiles as you can see some is missing but yeah it looks good actually uh, the round corners and all so yeah this is how the oreo one looks so i prefer using android pick tiles because it looks great on havoc now talking about the battery life this is the best rom like i have used aos ip before aos ip gave me a tremendous battery life but this one is more than it so i've used it two days and you can see last charge two days 35 minutes and a whooping screen on time of 8 hours and 43 minutes so this is great also we have idle so you can see no drain at all so this is a lot of pressure so i kept on using it until this and kept on idle so let me tell you i use this device as mixed like youtube pubg 
uh, movies and shows and what not what not everything and this is the final two day and using this rom you can see i'm still on havoc oh yeah i'm leaving it but still i'm using this like from like for five days because i had some issues here so don't need to change the rom because i was outside and not at home so yeah these are the final sets and i consider this as the best thing ever for like oreo at least not on pi i don't know if it's not yet available uh yeah and yeah i have this much of apps here see pubg prime video lt balaji some entertainment and all facebook so facebook and instagram was normal but pubg was heavy and also using telegram a lot and youtube too so guys in my opinion this is a really great rom and like best for me other things you decide uh, like those who don't need a lot of customization yes it has some uh, i don't want to say lags but some like can see people may uh, like think it is not that smoother because it's based on lineage it's not that true uh, like lineage is smoother and cr dot is also smoother but it has a lot of frameworks and all uh, because of those features so it's not okay buttery smooth but yeah it's okay smooth you can see also i can change the animation speed a bit so yeah if you want so also the battery life is top notch so i would recommend for battery users and heavy gaming users and Yep, that's it for the Havoc OS review and this is a final update. So yeah, let's see what comes with Pi and bye-bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and subscribe, like, dislike, comments, everything. Bye-bye. <laughs>